Hi all, welcome to the session on uh, fill in the blank question. So what to begin with to give you a background, fill in the blank question is nothing but one more question category that we have added in our application. Uh, so in order to view this, we are going to, I'm going to give you an overview of the exit existing test that we have. To give you a quick idea of how to create a fill, fill in the blank question, I first want you to take a look at this particular question, which is a fill in the blank question so um, the format in which the fill in the blank question needs to be entered is first we enter the question and then we open two curly brackets and we enter the answer and close the two curly brackets as you can see over here this is the format in which we enter the question now to make things more clear what I'm going to do is create a new test and I'm going to show you a sample of how we can create a fill in the blank question we are going to randomly make some selections here and we are going to quickly jump to the new questions tab where we can create a fill in the blank question as you all can see over here we are in the new question tab and in the question category we will be selecting fill in the blank question and in the fill in the blank question there are no options we just have three text boxes one for the question header question and answer explanation answer explanation as you all know is optional so what we are going to do is we are going to simply type in a question a random question and I'm going to just before writing the answer if the question is 2 plus 2 equals and the answer is 4 then just before starting to write the answer we are going to open two curly brackets and then write the answer and close the two curly brackets it is going to be open two curly brackets and close uh, write the answer and close the two curly brackets so this is to understand this is how the pattern works and as soon as we click on the save button my bad we did not select I did not select the topic here so as soon as we have finished entering all the details it is going to save our question and it is going to be visible over here As you can see over here, this is how the question looks. So as you can, I would like to take your attention again to the format because if the format in which the question is entered is not correct, the text box will not be generated. Now, I want to give you guys a look into how the question looks when the student is taking the test. So uh, when the student is taking the test, how what we see over here is we have created a sample question and the answer for this is 67. So we have given an option to the students in order to to, uh, as the name suggests fill in the blanks the students can enter the answer and click on the and move on to the next question so to give you an overview this is how the fill in the blanks question works do give us your feedback and come get back to us with questions thank you for attending the session bye